afternoon. Still not the afternoon. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. John Belkowitz. I'm the director of research and development here at Intelligent Concrete, where we specialize in making concrete do the impossible, saving the world with all the concrete in it. And I've got a great question to answer for y'all today. An interesting question. Uh, ding! And the question is, can colloidal silica be used to densify aerated concrete for polishing? Love the question. It's a very unique application. And I already replied to this on YouTube. If you follow our channel, you would have gotten a little ding notice or notification. The way I answered it was, I think the answer is yes. I think you can densify and more so toughen the hydrated cement matrix of any concrete, in particular a aerated concrete or an aerated concrete, to create a, a hardened sponge that you can come back over with some uh, abrasive sheets or polishing pads and get it nice and shiny. You know, the difference being uh, between standard concrete and aerated concrete, or the standard concrete you would use for polishing an aerated concrete, is you have your coarse and fine aggregate, let's call it a granular skeleton, that's going to provide you with some type of reinforcement to the abrasive forces from those polishing pads that gives your your hydrated cement matrix that porous sponge a little bit re of resiliency and almost work hardening i guess you can say that might be a stretch but a work let's let's call it work hardening for a second that point where instead of uh, ripping and stripping from the pads you get this densification or mechanical densification that ultimately shines up that surface from that continued pass over and over again uh, and then compressing that zone. Um, with aerated concrete, the only problem is um, that same surface or that subsurface and body of the concrete, instead of having a large majority of coarse and fine aggregate, it's it's normally has a, a finer uh, a content of air, large air bubbles. And that normally, the, because that happens, you have a a further dif distance from something that could be work hardened and those abrasive forces tear up your aerated concrete surface as opposed to shining them or polishing them. So to answer the question, can colloidal silica be used to densify it? Absolutely. I think that would be great, a great idea, but I, I think it would be wrong of me to say that it is the only thing that you could do. Um, you could also use something like... Um, uh, a, a, an alternative supplementary cementitious material. You can use micro silica in aerated concrete to, to make it denser. Carbon nanotubes. I mean, there's a lot of bells and whistles out there that are not only going to make your concrete denser, but it's going to make it tougher because remember, with those shearing forces from those pads, it's not a compressive load. It's not something that you really care about densification. It's something to resist those shearing loads. You don't have that aggregate to give you that that resiliency to those shearing loads, so you've got to rely on just the microstructure of the hydrated cement matrix. So when it comes down to it, if I had my wish upon a wish of the best single mix, I would say add some colloidal silica, use some Juno, or colloidal silica to densify, to use up that calcium hydroxide. Um, tell about ECC, what's ECC? Um, and then I would also put in an alternative supplementary cementitious material like Juno XP. I would use the uh, micro silica and then I would reduce my water content of that paste, of that binder as much as possible. And that would give you, you know, um, a, a harder and tougher matrix to get that shine from that abrasive pad. So I hope it answered your questions. Hey, Rocco. Sorry, I'm switching real quick. Rocco, what is ECC? Can you just spell that out for me? Sorry. Do you mean SCC? So let's see. assume it's SCC. So SCC is self-consolidating concrete, and you're still going to work with 27 cubic feet per cubic yard. Now what you're going to use is a higher cementitious, lower water cementitious, not low, but lower. What does the E stand for in the ECC? So I'm just gonna continue with SCC. What I would do is I would include three aggregates, probably a 57, 67 of pea gravel and your sand, maybe even a second sand, like a masonry sand. You're gonna use a water plastic or a super plasticizer, a high range water reducer, polycarboxylate style, somewhere around five to eight ounces per hundred weight. 
and with that using a two to six percent air depending on where you are in the US um, you're gonna use somewhere around 800 pounds plus or minus 50 pounds of total cementitious uh, your water cementitious ratio 0 0.35 to 0.38 maybe 0 0.40 and what you're gonna get is a pancaked out mix um, it'll have like a 28 to 32 inch spread uh, after 10 minutes of mixing um, and to give some resiliency to um, segregation, you can also use a viscosity modifying additive uh, like colloidal silica. So that's for an SCC, that's self-consolidating concrete. I don't know what an ECC is. Engineered cementous composite. Engineered, oh, so like a cement stabilized soil? So an engineered cementitious composite? So if that's what the, if you're uh, uh, going towards like a, a, a cement stabilized soil, Rocco, is that what you mean? So let's say it's a cement stabilized soil. Um, we've done, uh, I believe it was like, you know, 80% of a, a, a on-site soil with ha which had a bentonite clay. We did, um, so, was at 80% and then 20% of the binder, we did a water cementitious ratio of 1.43. Yeah, totally, Rocco, totally right direct to me uh, through uh, LinkedIn or, or this, I don't mind. I'll continue the cement stabilized soil. Um, we used a, so the 20% we used, I believe it was uh, for that binder, it was 80% of an ordinary Portland cement, so a type one, two is here in Colorado. The rest of that was made up of a hydrated lime, and then we had a water cementitious ratio of 1.43, and in that, to polish that, if that was the question, because that would be absolutely awesome, you would need to densify it. We have done higher strength versions of it, around 4,000 PSI, that you could totally do, but again, you just don't have that harder matrix to get you that backbone for the abrasive forces from that polishing pad. But anyway, listen, Rocco, shoot me a message. Let me know. Hopefully, I can answer everybody's questions. Uh, thanks for your time. I got to get back to it. I got a whole bunch of things to do. Go concrete. Beat asphalt.